Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are continuing LCM and HCF. Uh, some more important problems. Uh, these problems are uh, very important in examination point of view. So listen carefully. Here the question is given as the product of two numbers is 2028. The product of two numbers is 2028. And their HCF is 13. And their HCF is uh, 13. Now, the question what he is asking is, find the number of such pairs, find the number of such pairs which satisfies the above condition. Here, which satisfies the above condition in the sense, here we have two conditions. One is, product of those two numbers is 2028 and their HCF is 18. We need to find the number of such pairs uh, which satisfies these two conditions, right? So, first to solve these kind of problems, especially whenever you are calculating number of pairs, uh, number of pairs, uh, here whatever the HCF is given, if HCF is 13, then automatically the two numbers must be a multiples of HCF. Why? Because uh, if we are getting HCF as 13, definitely those numbers are multiples of 13. Then only it is possible to get uh, HCF as 13. That is the reason why I will take the first number as 13x and the second number as uh, 13y. Now, one more condition is product of two numbers is 2028. Product of two numbers. This is a first number and this is a second number product of these two which is equal to 2028 product of these two numbers is equal to 2028 now you can cancel with 13 table here it is 13 ones sir next 13 five sir 65 and next 13 six sir again you can cancel with 13 table 13 12 sir now x into y is equal to 12 x into y is equal to 12. Now, what you have to do is, uh, you need to write all possible values of x and y. It means, product of x and y is 12. The possible cases are, first I will write all possible cases which gives the product as, product as 12. So, possible cases, 1 into 12. 1 into 12 which is equal to 12. Next, 2 into 6. 2 into 6 is also 12. After that, 3 into 4. 3 into 4. Total, these are the 3 possible pairs. Total possible pairs are 3 pairs. Here, if you observe carefully, 1 into 12, 2 into 6 and 3 into 4. Don't write again 4 into 3, 6 into 2 and 12 into 1. A into B and B into A both are same, right? Total three possible pairs, but this three is not your final result. This three is not your final result. Among all possible pairs, among all possible pairs, we need to take only co-prime numbers. We need to take only co-prime numbers. What is meant by co-prime number? Here, the definition of co-prime number I already explained while we are discussing about the interaction of LCM and HCF. So, that is the reason why we need to learn co-prime number definition. Without knowing this definition, it is not at all possible to solve these kind of problems. So, co-prime numbers definition is very important. Uh, the meaning of co-prime numbers is... Once again, I am repeating, two numbers, two numbers doesn't have any common factor, any common factor, except one, except one. Why? Because one is a factor of each and every number. That is the reason why we should not consider one as the common factor. So, 
the definition of coprime numbers is two numbers doesn't have any common factor except one then those numbers are called as coprime numbers uh, out of all possible pairs uh, we need to take only coprime numbers uh, why because if we take non coprime numbers uh, it will not satisfies the condition of hcf uh, i will show you how it is uh, here first of all uh, identify the coprime numbers 1 and 12 there is no common factor except 1 so 1 comma 12 is a coprime number and 2 and 6 2 and 6 is not a coprime number why because 2 is a common factor 2 is a common factor in both the numbers 3 comma 4 3 comma 4 is a coprime number so first one and last one these two are coprimes these two are coprimes now the number of pairs which satisfies the given condition is uh, answer two pairs two pairs which satisfies the given condition i told you that why we are not taking non coprime numbers what happens if we take uh, non coprime numbers for example if i take uh, 2 comma 6 If x is equal to two, y is equal to six, then the numbers becomes three into two. Sorry, thirteen into two. That is equal to twenty-six, and thirteen into six, seventy-eight. If you observe carefully, HCF of these two numbers is twenty-six. HCF of twenty-six and seventy-eight, which is equal to 26 but we want hcf as 13 that is the reason why we should not take the non coprime numbers always we must take only coprime numbers that is the reason okay let's move on to the next question see here here also this is also belongs to number of pairs the sum of two numbers is 528 the sum of two numbers is 528 And their HCF is given as 33, and their HCF is 33. Find the number of such pairs which satisfies the above condition. Same rule as I already said previously. Whenever HCF of two numbers is given, then those two numbers are definitely a multiples of HCF. First number, let us consider 33x, and second number as 33. Y. Now, according to the condition, sum of in the previous problem we talked about product. Now it is given as uh, sum of those two numbers is equal to 528. You can common 33 x plus y, which is equal to 528. Now you can cancel directly. Definitely it will cancel. If you don't know how to calculate this one, go with the uh, Three table, three eleven sir, and next three one sir, and next three seven sir, and next three six sir. Now you can cancel with eleven table, eleven one sir, eleven six sir. X plus y is equal to sixteen. X plus y is equal to sixteen. Now you can write all possible pairs. Possible pairs are different and. Uh, Such pairs which satisfies the condition that is different. First, write down all possible pairs. Sum of two numbers is equal to sixteen. It means uh, starting with one, one comma fifteen, two comma fourteen, three comma thirteen, four and fourteen, and next five and eleven, six and ten. Seven and nine, and at last eight and eight. These are the total eight possible pairs. Out of eight possible pairs, we need to take only coprime numbers, as we discussed in the previous problem. Why? Because uh, if we take non-coprime numbers, it will not satisfy the condition of HCF. So one comma fifteen is a coprime number. There is no common factor. 2 comma 14 is not a coprime. Why? Because 2 is a common factor in both the numbers. 3 comma 13 is a coprime number. 4 comma 14 is not a coprime. 2 is a common factor. 
5 comma 11 is a co-prime number. 6 comma 10 is not a co-prime. Why? Because 2 is a common factor. 7 comma 9 is a co-prime number. 8 comma 8 is not a co-prime number. Right? Total we have 4 possible pairs. 4 pairs which satisfies the given condition. Here out of 8 possible pairs only 4 pairs which satisfies the given condition of uh, HCF as 33 and uh, sum of those two numbers is uh, 528. In this way, we have to solve these kind of problems. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.